A once forgotten instrument has found new purpose, breathing life into films such as the silent classic Nosferatu. The organ series was started with the restoration of the organ and we tried to do about four or five uh, programs each year bringing in renowned concert organists from all over the world. The organ was originally built by Ernest Skinner from Boston, Massachusetts in 1926 and it's a remarkable instrument. I knew it was going to be good but as we got it going again uh, I was amazed at how good it actually is and every uh, organists and they've had the best people on the planet here to play uh, company movies and to play concerts have raved about it. We get 12 to 1400 people at this concert today. Most of our concerts will get three to four hundred people. We would hope that will grow over the years but uh, yeah this is a real popular event today. We always come to things here if we can and especially because it's free to the public it just seemed like nothing else to do on a Sunday afternoon, something nice, and learn something from it. I have been here when people came dressed in the period of time. Whose idea was it to dress up? Both of ours. <laughs> we actually toned it down a little. We both kind of wanted to dress up, but we weren't sure how far to go, so we just kind of keep it classy and spooky at the same time. <laughs> Peter will, will uh, improvise through this. Okay. Um, he will use bits and bobs of uh, various pieces of, uh, of, of organ music uh, throughout it, but it, it will be 90% improvised, and that's what he's so good at. I like horror movies, and I like old horror movies a lot. I'm excited because there's going to be live music that accompanies it, so usually, you know, there's a soundtrack, that kind of thing, so it it'll be interesting to see the different feeling that you gain from it. Even though it's a different type of instrument that, than was usually used back in the day, it works equally well. Next month we have Alan Morrison, who's head of the uh, organ department of Curtis Institute of Music. And then in April we have a young rising star organist, uh, Christopher Houlihan, who's really a phenomenal organist. It's old fashioned, but yet it's kind of a new twist because we're able to see it in the theater here. We love Stan Rock. You don't really love horror movies if you haven't seen Nosferatu.